it's Karen with the Cat Scrappiness Design Team. And in this video, I'm introducing a new dye by Cat Scrappiness called the Bamboo Background Dye. As you can see, it has lots of cutouts for a bamboo. It measures almost four and a quarter wide and five and a half tall. It's a little smaller than that, so when you place it on an A2 size card, you will see a little bit of a border. Here I've cut it out in some dark green paper. And this is what it looks like on an A2 size card. As you can see, there's that small border all around the die. Some great intricate cuts that cuts really well. I have a couple of cards that I made with this die. The first one, I cut the die out of some lime green paper and used it behind a frame I created using the stitch rectangle dies from Cat Scrappiness. I believe it's the double stitch rectangle die, so as you can see, I have this stitched around here too. I die cut and colored a couple pandas from stamps from my stash. Then I used the stitched fishtail banner from Cat Scrappiness, stamped my happy birthday sentiment to finish the card. For my second card, I use the entire bamboo backdrop die. Used a one of the banner dies from the Craft Essentials 2. Colored a little geisha girl with a umbrella from a stamp set I had and then used some little lanterns also on the card. I've used some brown jewels on top of each of the lanterns and kind of hung them on a brown cord. The bamboo background die is now available in the Cat Scrappiness shop. I'll have the link down below. Here's a couple of close-up of the cards I made and some cards from the rest of the Cat Scrappiness design team. Cat Scrappiness has several new designers who's done a great job with this month's release. First up is Adam using the bamboo die with a panda and some circles for his card. Next up, we have Dawn, who used several stamps from the Stuart the Sloth stamp set to create this cute card. Jessica used the face from the Happy Fall Y'all stamp set and a die from the Crafters Essential One for her card using the bamboo backdrop die. Joe created this fun card using the walk-on stamp set and the banner die from the Crafters Essential Fall die set. Next up, Maria has this fun little panda card using the stitch flag dies, some little pink heart droplets from Cat Scrappiness also. Martha's used the cute owls from the envelope art owl set from Cat Scrappiness, and I love how she layered the bamboo dies on top of each other to get a different effect. Next up, we have Megan, who also used the Stuart the Sloth stamp set with a couple of stamps from that set and the rope stitched rectangle dies for her sentiment. I love the sparkle on this card from Priscilla. She cut out the bamboo backdrop die with some glitter black paper and then used a few clear droplets on the card. Tina also layered the bamboo backdrop die on itself in white. Tina used the leaf and the sloth holding the co coffee cup from the Stuart the Sloth stamp set. Last but not least, we have Jessica Lynn who created a card using double stitch circles, the Merry Critters stamp set, and the banner die from Cat Scrappiness. I'll have a link down below to the bamboo backdrop die and to the blog post coordinating with this video. Thank you for watching.